Hey, what's up guys, it's Vlog, it's about my crack some more Donkey Kong Country Returns. In the last episode, we went to World 1-5, Canopy Canyon, the World 1-6, Crazy Cart, we finished up World 1 except for the boss fight. And in this episode, we're only going to Muggly's Mound, the first boss of the game. Finishing up World 1. We don't have Diddy this time. How sad. So I personally think the first couple bosses of the game really are pretty easy, but obviously the last couple bosses aren't. Uh, right here we have a Diddy Barrel. There's gonna be Diddy Barrel at the beginning of every boss fight. Doesn't matter if you break it or not, but you still have them. And you're gonna have a cutscene. So this is Mugly, the World 1 boss, and I think it's actually the Cheeky's pet, because we were eating our bananas, and you know. Because of that, we have to do a Pokemon battle. I choose you, Donkey Kong! Alright, whatever. So, uh, Mugly, he has three different forms. Every form, he's gonna, uh, be darker, and he's going to be faster. This first form is pretty easy, you just have to hit him three times in every form, just for a total of nine hits. He's gonna turn into the second form. And he has a couple different moves. His main move is this little dancing thing you're gonna see coming up. I think he actually saw it though already. Here it is right here. But uh he also has a thing where he's going to ground pound and another thing so he's going where he's going, where he's going to ram into a wall. So yeah, because he's trying to hit us and apparently he doesn't think that we're fast enough for him. So here's his darkest form. Hit him again. Let's see if we can get three hits, only so two more left. Pretty fast as you can see. Let's try to get him. No, maybe not. No, I guess not. He just uses ramming technique where he grabs into the wall. I think he's gonna hit us. But nope. Only one more hit left. Here's he uses this ground pounding thing. And here's the last hit. Bam! Now he's gonna make some faces at us. I don't know, it just always gets me every time. Alright, so now we get to do something really probably my favorite thing about this game. You still have to see this in the first episode, you get to see it again. But I suggest anybody under the age of 10 hide the rise right now. And that means you, Diddy, because this is going to be awesome. Here we go. Oh yeah! That is just so awesome. You get to use your power to pow to kill him and shred him to shreds. See how many hits we got. 22! Yeah! Just love that. I know that most people say that uh, maximum you can get is 21, but I just proved them wrong. So, pretty much at the end of any world, you're gonna have this little thing where the DK fly comes down, as you can see right now, it's gonna break this thing open. You know, we didn't get to see that because I obviously had our failed recording. But, you know, maybe we can actually get to see it in the next world, which is... The Beach! Yeah, so join me if we go to World 2 on Pop and Planks. First level of the beach. Little Tiki to greet us here, and we get some more. We can see some new enemies. I don't know. We need a new enemy for every world. The new enemy for this world is. Ah, uh, crabs! We get to kill Mr. Krabs! Hooray! I don't know why I'm gonna splash our breakfast instead of let's play. But over here we're gonna have our first puzzle piece. There you go. Jump on top of that guy, and here's the Diddy Barrel, and we're just gonna throw him at the crabs because we're gonna being a jerk. Here's our K up here, and two banana coins. Wow, 144. There's a treasure chest with a balloon in it. There's gonna be a lot of balloons and banana coins in here. Alright, right in here we get to go to this half sunken ship and have a new kind of minigame. Kill the crabs! So you want to jump on him, ground pound, and then hit him again. Pretty simple. Because uh, if they have their claws like sideways, you obviously need their two hit crabs. So we're gonna grab our puzzle piece, and those will magically transport us down. See if they transport ourselves down. That's no fun. 
All right, so now the ship sinks, sinks, not sinks. Proper gram, improper grammar for the win. All right, over here, have this crab. Gotta jump up here, and here's another ground pounding platform right after we get this banana coin. Just hit it, and the dolphin comes up, and he's a bunch of bananas to come out of his hole. Yeah, that, that's a great choice of words there. But uh, this dock's gonna come up, we're gonna try to grab a bunch of them, even though it's pretty hard to do. I don't actually know what the prize is, but I bet it's pretty good, because it's pretty hard to do. I don't know if anybody's ever done it. If you've ever done it, post a video response. I'd love to see that. Kill these crabs here. We have moving platforms here. Right over here, we have a new invention. An elevator. Kill the crab. Just curiosity killed the crab. And we're gonna try to get this bow over here. No, it doesn't look like we can do it. Let's try to do a barrel roll over to it. No, let's see. Nope. It's pretty hard to do. All right, just screw it. So right here, this is pretty cool. Come over here, ground pound this thing, and we get to go into the lazy river. Because you guys know what I love to do with lazy rivers, right? Tea bag, of course. And get hit by enemies, and kill enemies. And this too. Yep, I had to do that. Sure, just with a puzzle piece in it. And speaking of lazy, cannons! So outside the cup crab, and we get a type of minigame. So right here, you have to try to get all the items without hitting the barrel in the middle. So let's try to do it, and apparently we hit it. Still got a bunch of items though. Well, not really. Get 48 bananas. That's. Decent, I guess, not really. Avoid these. Okay, new enemy, crabs. I already said that. New enemy, sharks. What am I going on about now? Alright, over here, we're gonna have a new type of flipping dock thing, as you saw before. This type has spikes flipping up and down. Let's try to avoid that. Under this platform. Crab. Make these boxes because that's always fun to do. Let's see if we can make this jump. Yes, okay. That's kind of hard. This one's hard too. Oh wow. Okay. That works for me. Alright. Right here we're gonna have a little swinging platform and golden sharks, even though they look kind of red. I still call them golden. Well, they do kind of look kind of golden. They look yellow. And we got Kung. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that noise again. Trust me. So avoid these sharks, these blue sharks, and finishing barrel. So let's try to hit it. And it's a life. Forty-five of those. And we got Kung again. Oh, I said it again. How dare I? I promised that I wouldn't, but I still did anyway. Alright, so I think we have time to move on to one more level. World 2 2 Sloppy Sands. Because you guys know, I love my sand sloppy. Bad joke for the one. Alright, so skip right through that. And we get these double barrel things. That's just awesome because on vacation I actually had this ride called the Double Barrel. And let me tell you, it was awesome. It was a water ride. So right over here, we have a Diddy Barrel, and we can hit this target and grab a puzzle piece. I roll down here, and here we have the Donkey Kong form of Bullet Bills. Here's another cannon, and it's going to kill the crab. And we get four banana coins. So we get a combo breaker on these. Combo breaker. Nope. Apparently we lose Diddy. That's my combo breaker for you. Avoid these guys that have shocky electricity because trust me, there's shocky electricity. Shocky electricity is no good. No good, I tell you. Jump here and get hit. And here is a checkpoint. Diddy barrel. And whoa. 
okay, I was just trying to get the treasure chest. You know, it only has one. All right, this crate right over here. Yeah, it's over here. Can you move? No, apparently not. Uh, it has a treasure chest inside of it. It has a barrel inside of it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So now we have the barrel roll into it, and the K floats down with the use of gravity. It's gravity for the win. Right, why was that just, just just shaking? Did you see that? Because it's surround sound. Oh, donkey, don't fall in and have your sounds of making stuff inside of there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I want to show you guys something. Let's see if I can actually try to do it. See if we can get it on the platform. All right. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> Look at how Donkey Kong walks there. If you press the button where you hold uh, items. Like, if you keep pressing it while you're walking, it just looks so weird. Like, I don't know, I just like it for some reason. I think it's kind of funny. Well, obviously anything sexual is funny, maybe. Not everything, but, you know, most of us. And of course, right after you get a point in this heart, I get hit. Hit that barrel, I completely miss all the crabs, and I was trying to get that can over there, but... Excuse me, crabs, out of my way, thank you. Here is a puzzle piece. Pretty cool. And over here is our O. So we have KO. And we lost Diddy again. I should have counted for how many times there's Diddy in this episode or in this level or whatever. Alright, this N is pretty hard to get. Let's see if we can get it. You use your. Oh wow, okay. Apparently you can get it. Alright, here we're gonna get the Diddy barrel. Look! There's water all over the place. There's a temple rising up. Oh my god, it's the water temple. I do not want to do this. I'd rather kill myself to go in this thing. I already had to do it twice. Twice. Once in the 3DS version and once in the N64 version. Oh, and speaking of uh, Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, uh, did you guys hear Project Moonfall? I think it's actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not a part of it, but... I'm kind of like enforcing it because we're trying to get uh, Majora's Mask on the 3DS. And, you know, I think it'll be pretty awesome to have both N64 games on the 3DS. And this guy's gonna tell us how to hold on, apparently, because I don't know how. He thinks I don't know how. How dare he? And this treasure chest with a banana coin inside of it. I'm going to use the barrels, and as soon as you get off, there's gonna be them coming on. As soon as you're about to hit the hole, you know, it's gonna come out. That's what she said. Bananas. Super good, actually. Yeah, okay. We actually went. We actually did a win. Grabbing onto walls. Are you serious? That's a new one. Drop down to this platform. Here, the treasure chest. So many treasure chests. It's like Zelda with these treasure chests and these heart containers. Right past here is the finishing barrel. So, here we go. I've been not a Like we didn't have enough of those already. We got calm. I'm happy. And we had like half a cherry, I think. Looks like a cherry. Alright, so I think we're about uh, reaching the time limit here, so I think we're gonna set off here. So, next time Donkey Kong Country returns, we're going to be going to World 2 Street, Peaceful Pier. See you guys then.